Hey, welcome back. I'm back. Aquarium Hacks by Marcus. Oh, it's been, I, I would say, probably uh, over a month since I've been able to uh, uh, make any uh, videos, or I have some videos made, but since I've been back on YouTube. And so I'm happy to be back. I'm ready to start hacking out stuff, ready to start talking about some uh, uh, things, uh, uh, certain sp fish species, certain shrimp species, and uh, just uh, different kind of things in their aquarium hobby. And so uh, I'm back to back doing aquarium hacks again. Oh, by the way, this little shirt here is what my wife made. Now I'm not selling these, at least not yet. But this is um, this shirt here is, as you can see here, this is a betta. This represents pebbles, the uh, pebbles, the belt betta. And on the, on the bottom here it says Aquarium Hacks. And so my wife actually made this shirt and made this design for me. She's really good at what she what she does. So she said, uh, well, why don't you have a shirt on when you come back to do your uh, videos again? And so um, here's the shirt and I'm really proud of it and uh, happy that she was able to uh, make this nice little design uh, for Aquarium Hacks. And so um, we're back. I'm back and so uh, just to let you guys know a few little things that I've changed up in the fish room um, I did get a new aquarium um, not this one back here in the back I've changed this one here up a little bit and, I, and we'll get into that in some later videos uh, but my new aquarium here as you can see over here uh, that is my new aquarium now I've got some videos where I'm going to be uh, talking about that aquarium in particular and uh, so we're going to be getting into it and uh, what, what are some things in it. Um, of course, uh, in this aquarium, I did decide to go ahead and build me a little uh, kind of ugly <laughs> wood, wood stand. But it is uh, solid as a rock. Um, you could probably put, uh, I ain't no telling how much weight on it. I really, when I make stands or anything, I really overkill everything that I do. But uh, anyway, it has this uh, nice little nano tank on it. And so uh, we'll be getting into that later on. Um, but what I wanted to uh, particularly uh, talk about today um, was the uh, fish hobby. How do you stay interested? How do you stay entertained? How do you keep this hobby going? Because let's face it, uh, fish tanks uh, after a while, for some people, they can just get plain old born. Or they can get... Or they get so frustrated that they start losing so many fish, they just get tired of the fish tank business, and they just want to get rid of their aquarium. Just get rid of the thing. I can't keep any fish. They all they're always dying, and um, every time I put one in, and, and you know, next two or three days they're dying. It's cost me more money than what I want to spend. And uh, or sometimes they just have their aquarium there, and other things happen in life, and they just get really busy in life, and fish tank goes into the background and gets boring, gets pushed to the side. And then next thing you know, you the happy Aquarius uh, find the fish tanks on the side of the road and yippee yay yay, I've got a free fish tank, another one to set up in my room. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't tell you how many fish tanks I found on the side of the road because the people got bored uh, with the hobby. And so how do you keep yourself from getting bored um, with the aquarium hobby? Well... These, uh, well, this is what you can can do. And let's just say, for instance, if you got a fish tank, let's just take, let's, let's just say you got a ten gallon fish tank and it's fixed up with little things, little rocks, and and you know you got a few fake plants in there. You threw some zebra daniels in there and got a power filter on the back, and there you have it. So, how do you keep yourself entertained? That keep the keep 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 your interest going because. That would be born, and let's just say you got the tank and you'd never do anything to it. Well, it gets born after a while because you just got a, a glass of water with some fish swimming around in it, right? So that gets born. So to keep yourself entertained and to keep yourself inter uh, interested in the hobby, why not try to uh, upgrade your filtration? Why not try to uh, change that substrate out to some sand substrate? Change your fish out. Uh, why don't you try putting live plants in it and also try also to do a little maintenance on your fish tank every week do a little water changing uh, and, and things of, of, of that nature because let, let me tell you I would get extremely bored of the fish tank hobby if all I ever did 
was just wash my fish all the time without actually doing some work inside of the fish tank. Um, when you get inside of your fish tank and you work inside it or you're changing decorations around, you're putting plants in, you're doing water changes, you're cleaning it up. That's what keeps you interested in the hobby. That's what keeps things going. And so if all my fish tank is doing is just sitting there and I'm not doing any kind of maintenance work to it, from time to time, I'm not saying you have to do maintenance work every day or even every week, but at least once a month, maybe twice a month, do something to that tank. Uh, scrape down that, uh, that, that algae that's getting out of, out of hand. Uh, do some research on some fish that maybe you can add in. Uh, if the fish that you have is not no longer in, in interest to you, it might be best to get rid of them. Uh, give them to the store, get some store credit, and try some more different kind of fish that could be of an interest to you. Um, do things in the hobby. Uh, figure out how to how to make things, how to do things. Uh, go out into the go out into nature and grab you some some rocks and clean them up and uh, try different decorations and stuff like that. Um, uh, try different uh, uh, materials. Not say you have to spend a lot of money. But just try different uh, things, you know. You might try some uh, some cool fake decorations. Uh, you might try, like I said, live plants, floating plants. Um, you might want to try cichlids. You might want to try uh, uh, better tanks. You might want you might want to set up a little uh, mini tank. But on this little mini tank, you're going to really put some effort into this mini tank. So you want this mini tank to be a show tank. You want it to be a beautiful tank. So you get a nice little LED light on it. You get the kind of uh, substrate that, that you need for it. You, get, you pick out and choose wisely the right kind of plants that will go in that tank. And then you choose the inhabitants very wisely and the filter very wisely. And so that you can have this beautiful uh, growing uh, aquarium. Uh, try CO2. Um, I've, you know, I've tried CO2 in times past. I've even made my own DIY CO2s. Um, I'm now uh, at the point where I'm now going to order this little DIY CO2. Um, uh, it is a Neo, I believe, Neo CO2 from Aquaria. Uh, I believe it is, but I'm getting it from Boost Plants. So I'm going to try that out and I'm sure it'll work and things of that nature. But yeah, I have actually from scratch made my own CO2 with a soda bottle, uh, yeast and, and the sugars and... and um, Silicone that up, the silicone that around there, and ran a tube out of it. And yes, I've actually made my own 100% uh, DIY CO2 system. Didn't work that great, but it did do the job. And so, you know, just try things in a hobby to keep you interested. And so, um, that's what this video is about. Um, this is what I hope to keep folks entertained. Um, with different things in the aquarium hobby and hopefully I can show you some great hacks coming up uh, that you will particularly enjoy. Uh, but it's feel good to be back. Look out for some later videos with some hacks. I'm going to be putting them out uh, pretty quickly so uh, maybe every day, maybe every other day. Who knows? But uh, until then, hey my friends, keep on hacking.